Oh, welcome back to the Norwich City View. It's the last home game of the season and it's Swansea City are coming to town. We're going to be reviewing how Norwich have done at home this season. We'll talk about why we think average attendances are one of the lowest points and obviously we're predicting uh, the final two games. And we are doing this with, of course, Alfie and Liam once again. Um, it's, how do you feel about the last home game? Does it feel like you've been on this epic journey or does it feel like um, you could do another couple of months of this? Um, I mean, with the home form, I mean, when we play at home normally, I wouldn't mind another couple of months of it. But then again, obviously, I, where the position we're at now, I wouldn't mind finishing the season just to get us in the playoffs and obviously like calm it down a little bit and then I'm our best shot on the bed okay. see what happens then. So, yeah. Um, We'll talk about the Bristol City game first of all, Liam, if we can, um, and come straight straight to you. Um, they're not yeah. a bad side, are they, Bristol City? No, not at all. I actually think they're probably in the top three sides to come to Car Road this season. Um, they they played extremely well. They set up. They had they had the foundation at the just difficult to break down in total. So obviously, at home we've sort of been scoring goals for fun recently, but Bristol City really come there and put men behind the ball and hit us on the counter attack a few times. And I mean. We probably could have been two or three down, um, and we were probably quite lucky not to be uh, to come towards the uh, for end of the first half. And then, obviously, they scored, and then it was sort of almost instant reply. Um, but yeah, it it was an all right point in the end because obviously Hull dropped points as well, so not too much of a blow. Just need to win on Saturday now. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? Beat Swansea, and that's it. You are in the playoffs. Can't catch you. That's straightforward. Um, however, Swansea, um, no mugs on the road themselves. And we'll bring a Swansea fan in a second to to preview the game. Um, Alfie, the, the average attendance at Cairo this season has, has been 24,690. That's 7% down uh, from last year. And actually, I think it's the lowest attendance in the championship since, uh, since 08-09. What do you put that down to? Even though, I think, what is it, 14... 14 games unbeaten now at home in a row. Why aren't the crowds flocking back? I'll be honest, I did not know it was that low. I thought I haven't heard our attendance on the tower drop below 26,000 all season. I did not know it was that low at all. But I mean, I think we've always been a well supported club at home. Our attendance hasn't dropped below 20,000 in the last 20 years at home. And that is, like you say, that is a bit of a strange one, especially. For the home form, and I do see a lot of fans complaining after an odd blip. Like we go and draw at Sheffield Wednesday, and you got fans complaining again. I'm like, you just got to get behind the team, support them, no matter what. And I thought the atmosphere Saturday was quite dire. There wasn't much to it, and you thought everyone would be up for it coming off the first home game since we beat Ipswich. But yeah, if, it, if that is if it is that low, then yeah, that it's not ideal really. But everyone needs to just get behind them, keep supporting them. Yeah. Yes, at least that's what our, our fans can do, really. Liam, any any insights from you as to why perhaps fans have stayed away this season or have not perhaps renewed? Um, I don't think I can put it on anything in particular. I mean, some people might not be happy with the football that Bergman's playing, but then at the same time, you can't please everyone, can you? So I think the, the main sort of priority is just to get behind the team, support the boys and back them until the end now. Right. Uh, let's bring in our Swansea fan um, James then and let's get a preview of uh, this particular uh, game uh, James this is your last away trip for, with the Swans um, you looking forward to this one? Yeah yeah. I think we've been far better on the road this season than we have been at home which is quite unusual for us to be honest uh, but yeah uh, just I'll be happy to see the back of this season whatever happens or to be honest <laughs> Um. Alfie, does he rest any players for his last two games, or is it a case of just squeaking a point here and then rest them, rest them for the Birmingham game? But then there's lots of teams that don't want you to rest anyone for that Birmingham game. No, I'll be honest. I think he's just going to go for it Saturday and just get the job done because that's what us fans would want. And then it'd be a little more relaxed for Birmingham away. And um, the only change I could see happening is Johnny Rowe coming into the side because. He has looked like the game changer as soon as he come on. He was the one that changed the game and brought the energy at Preston. And I thought he did look lively in spells at Bristol as well. So if anything, I could see just 
Barnes maybe going out for him and then putting Sarah more into the middle and row back out wide. But no, I, I don't think he'll rest anyone. And too right, he shouldn't really. The team's in form. Just to, let's just get the job done. Yeah, do our own job ourselves. All right, James, how did they go about beating this uh, energetic Swansea side? Um, again, I think our Achilles heel will probably be if they just try to step onto us because we still have a little mistake in us here and there. Um, so if teams really do try to put us under pressure, I think you, you might get something out of us. In the last couple of teams we played in Rotherham uh, and Huddersfield haven't really tried to put us under any pressure. So I imagine if they try doing this and if they play to their potential, uh, yeah, they might get something out of us. But uh, at the moment, it's it's hard to say, is it because that we've been playing against lesser opposition or have we actually improved? But we'll see. If if they try to put us under a bit of pressure, I think we might find it difficult up there. OK. Um, you did beat Norwich um, at uh, your stadium, didn't you, earlier in the season? The, it was a bit of a midweek game. So um, this isn't going to be plain sailing for you. Liam, let's get some score predictions from you and then I'm going to ask you both for your highlight of the year uh, at home. Uh, I'm probably a 2-0 Norwich. Alfie? I'm going to go for 3-1 Norwich to get the job done. Okay. And James? Uh, I'll never back us to lose. Uh, so I'm going to say one all draw. Okay. Perfect. Enjoy the game, James. Uh, we'll pop you out of the picture for a second and just get these lads to review uh, the home home games. Um, Mikey, it's, it's felt, I'm sure, like a very, very long season for you. And it's been a bit... Probably of all the teams, it's been a roller coaster for Norwich, hasn't it? Um, it started okay, we've had dips, and then we've had this incredible run of, of home games. Alfie, what's been your favourite home game of the season? I mean, obviously, I think the obvious one that most of our fans have said is it's game because of like the occasion. But I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna say I really enjoyed the Coventry game at home. I thought that was a turning point in the season, at where at that time fans thought, all right, we can actually do something this year now. We've had a bit of a bad, we have a bit like a bit of a, uh, bit of a bad blip, but now we can really do for sure and beat a good side at home. Let's go for it. I think that was a turning point in the season. Yeah, just okay. yeah, why not? Let's go for it. Um, Norwich have got the biggest gap between points per game at home and points per game away from home of all the sides. So it just highlights, doesn't it? However great you are at home, uh, well, the waveform hasn't been so good. We'll talk about waveform next week. Uh, Liam, what's been your standout moment? At Carrow Road? Um, probably going to go opening day of the season um, against Hull when we beat them 2 1 last minute. I just uh, sort of stepped up the, the whole sort of season. I mean, Johnny Rogue scored a screamer. Um, Adam Eder last minute. That just sort of sums up our season in a whole, just in that one game. Um, saved by last minute winners consistently that have sort of changed our season. So I'm going to go for the 2 1 Hull. Okay. All right. And then we're going to ask you for your lowest point as well just to get the balance right here can you think back to a time where you've got your left before the final whistle's gone and, and questioned what you're doing with your life um, Liam we'll start with you um, well not really that much I um, don't really know to be honest there's been a couple of home games that have not been great but other than that, it's pretty okay. So I wouldn't say that there's anything in particular that stands up to me that I've left before or anything. Okay. So I can't say my lowest point at home. Okay. Alfie? Uh, I know you've mentioned it a few times, Mark, I'm going to say Blackburn at home. Yeah. Uh, that was a very low point. Mm. That was the quietest I've heard Carroll Road in a while. Was it, yeah. After going a few down in the third, it was 2-0 or 3 down half time, I can't quite remember. But just it turned toxic, there was chance of whether out there's chance of David Wagner out and it, that was a really, really low point and that was on Sky as well and we completely not only embarrassed ourselves from the Sky and it made it even worse it was a Sunday as well so knowing that the weekend's over after that game that was a horrible point. Okay. All right then. Um, thank you for that. Um, the final home game of this, sorry, the final game of the season for Norwich is away at Birmingham. Um, this weekend they play Huddersfield in a loser goes down essentially. Um, so you are going to have a lot of teams supporting Norwich uh, next weekend. Is he allowed, therefore, to rest any players, do you think, or does he have to maintain the integrity of the league by making sure there's a full-strength squad at both games? Would you not care? 
both games that I would prefer. Um, just for sort of the whole point of it. I mean, next week is not guaranteed that we, we go to Birmingham and have playoffs secured already. So I think it completely depends on this weekend, but I would like to see him remain full strength. Okay, cool. Alfie? Uh, if we guarantee playoffs this weekend, then I wouldn't mind seeing a couple of changes maybe. But then again, the question there is, do you want to go for fifth and we get fifth and play fourth place instead instead of getting sixth and play third place? But obviously you want the team to go for it. Let's just, let's just not change the winning side really sometimes. Right? That is, keep, keep it there and keep the standards high for playoffs and just keep winning. Okay. All right then, good luck at Norwich fans. Okay, one more win against Swansea should do it. And then, yeah, he could even be fifth and playing Southampton. Um, <laughs> crikey, who can ever predict the results of a Southampton game these days? Cheers for joining us. We'll see you for the final one next week, reviewing Birmingham City against Norwich City. Good luck against Swansea, fellas. Cheers. Thank you.